If you've had a poke around in the organisational features of Scrivener, you've probably come across labels which you can use to colour code documents. Labels can be applied to documents in a couple of ways. One way is to select a document in your binder and open the Notes pane in the Inspector, where you'll find labels accessible from this list at the bottom. Another way is to right click on the document in the binder to bring up the contextual menu, go to Label and choose from the available colours. It's also possible to change the label for multiple documents by selecting several documents in the binder, corkboard or outliner and using the same option from the right click menu. In either place you can click Edit to bring up the label list where you can add new labels and define what each coloured label represents, whether it's a subplot, a theme, a character or something else entirely. I'll create a label here using the plus button and name it Augustine after a character from my novel. If a particular colour suits your purposes better, double clicking on a label here will allow you to assign a new colour from this colour picker. In this example I'm writing a novel with several point of view characters and I want to track the storyline for each using labels. We'll rename label to POV, assign each character a label colour and tag any documents which are from that character's point of view. Now if you want a visual way of tracking these threads running through your manuscript, select a folder or a series of folders, open the corkboard and click this button on the bottom row. The traditional corkboard view will become a series of coloured lines and the documents will be pinned to the corresponding line for their label. In this case, it's now become a visual way of tracking the storylines for my POV characters, with the synopses for each document serving as a summary of the events that happen to each character. It's even possible to drag the index cards from one line to another to change the label. Dragging the cards to either side will change the document's position in the binder. Using the buttons on the bar below, these threads can be displayed either horizontally or vertically, which can come in useful if you're using splits to view both the editor and the corkboard. Last of all, the corkboard options allow you to adjust the size and spacing of index cards if you need to fit more information on the screen. Labels can also be used as a visual aid in a number of other places. Going to View, Use Label Color In will allow you to enable where the label colors appear. Four of these options also correspond to the keyboard keys F5 through F8. I'll enable all of the options here to show you what changes. Choosing Binder adds a circle of the label colour next to the document name, and selecting Show as Background Colour in Binder will expand this to apply the label colour to the entire Binder item. Choosing Icons tints the document icon with the label colour. Index Cards will change the background colour for labelled index cards so they stand out even more on the corkboard. Outliner Rows adds the colour to the corresponding rows in the outliner. Scrivening's Titles requires you to enable View, Text Editing, Show Titles in Scrivening's, but this will add the label colours as a background colour for the titles when you view a series of documents in Scrivening's mode. That will be all for this video. If you're interested in learning more about Scrivener, our other video tutorials and guides should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!